DeMarco, two new testing sites will open in Long Beach today. The Cabrillo High School site on Santa Fe Avenue will now be restricted to LA, I'm sorry, Long Beach Unified School District parents, faculty and staff. And the city of Long Beach has added an expanded drive through and walk up testing site for all residents at the LGB Airfield lot off Wardlow Road. Tests will be processed within 48 hours and include dual testing for the COVID and the flu. Well, Governor Gavin Newsom has activated the National Guard to help with the rising demand of COVID test sites. The deployment comes as the Omicron variant just keeps spreading. CBS 2's Cara Finstrom is live in Pasadena with the latest response to the surge. Cara, good morning. Good morning. The Pasadena CHAP Care site uh, here, one of the sites where National Guard members are going to be pitching in today. They are also helping over in Montclair, and we were there yesterday. Take a look. Yeah, they're trying to go back to school. Okay. So, because since I was tested positive last week, oh, it was great. It was fast. Uh, we just actually made the appointment about 30 minutes ago, and we walk here, and there's no line. Your father will go. It's up a long family one there. Time, okay. The Huang family there had stopped open testing appointments online for weeks before turning to Montclair. The National Guard moving in to help area communities from El Centro to Bakersfield. 80 Cal Guard members are going to be working at 25 different sites. Their mission is to test more quickly, increase staffing, and add walk in capacity. Now, the state has been facing a huge demand for testing because of the winter surge, with some folks unable to get appointments, waiting for hours, or not getting their test results for more than a week. All right, take a look at this, because over the weekend, the governor did also release the details of his $2.7 billion COVID battle plan. It has a huge emphasis on supporting more testing sites and getting out more of those at home tests. The plan also includes funding for more vaccines and boosters, support for hospitals and educational efforts to fight misinformation. The governor will be asking lawmakers to fast track approval of some of that funding when he sends his annual state spending plan to the state legislature later today. And he will uh, be debating some of those issues and some of the different expenditures with other state lawmakers. So back here live, all of that still to come. Susanna and DeMarco uh, will be hearing much more from the governor's office throughout the day. Cara, before you go, this latest plan follows a large delivery of testing kits to public schools across California. What more can you tell us about them? Yeah, 9.6 million of those kits since early December. So this really just gives you a feel for how many resources are being put towards this, how big the demand, the need is right now for this type of testing. Oh, yes, it absolutely is. Cases jumping every day. DeMarco, 